This one, you guys might know about it. The first person I heard make this popular was Dr. Dre back in like early 2000s or late 90s. There was this like lead up reverb effect that led into a sound and it made it super dramatic. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a reverb tail in Ableton. I'm gonna go to Drums at Knock, volume nine. So let's get a melody loop. And let's get a drum loop. Let's get the mix right. Okay, so say we wanna do some kind of intro for this. Let's put this on a different track and I'm gonna get an auto filter and we're gonna just do a low pass filter on the intro. One, two, three, snare. And we're gonna drop the melody there. And we're gonna drop the melody when the snare hits. And we're gonna reverb out that snare. Let's flatten that and we're gonna cut it when the beat drops. What we wanna do is do a reverb tail fade in for when this piano hits. And we're gonna add like a stomp just to give it more drama. I don't have a stomp right now, so I'm just gonna take a kick from Drums and Knock 9, and I'm gonna get a big reverb to hit when that kick hits to make it sound like a stomp and get a saturator. And then I'm gonna flatten this so I can edit the audio, just for a little more impact. What I'm gonna do to get that reverb tail I was telling you about is we're gonna make a new audio track, and we're gonna take a little piece of this first note. Just that piece and put it on a new track. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a reverb and I'm gonna wash it out with reverb. I'm gonna set the decay really high. Something like that is fine. Then you go freeze, flatten. We're gonna delete that first piece. Take this, we're gonna reverse it. Double click it and click reverse at the bottom. So now that reverb tail is reversed. We're gonna take the end of it and we're gonna add it to the beginning of the track. And we're gonna drag it up to when this part starts. So check it out. I'm gonna solo these two tracks. We're gonna fade it in. You see that? We added a tail going into it. So now you can tailor shape it. So zoom in. Turn it up. Turn this up more. You can even fade it from ear to ear. You can automate the panning. Right click, show automation. We want it to be in the center when it hits since that melody's in the center. So it's going from the right ear to the center and then that melody hits. So let's hear the whole section. That's how you do that. 